Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny Five Live here, and welcome back to another episode of Project Planka. We are finishing up the Metropolis area of the sci-fi area here today. We have all of these backdrop builds that will complete the Dex R side of the project. Lots of mega builds that we want to get in here. That should complete this area. And then the last but not least, we're going to do our sky plots in the next and final sci-fi video all these cool little sky metropolises are going to go onto these platforms for the next one and then we can give the coaster one final ride uh, i don't know if batch is going to be adding little doodads to the ride or not um but for the most part it should be a near finished ride experience once those get in so it should be a pretty much like 95 percent if not more uh, completed ride experience and the most exciting part of the uh, coaster is going to be going through all of this stuff here uh very 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 cool. So let's get things started. Um, I did ask Terra the Ref to update their build, and I have not heard or seen anything in the sheet about an update. And that was about a week ago. Wait, it's alignment. I think they updated it. This might be the updated version. Would you look at that? Because last time it was floating when I tried to align the cube. So shout out to Terra the Ref for getting that done. I didn't dm them or anything so terror just watched the video said i'm gonna do that right now went and updated the build and there we have it uh so when i resubscribe to it i got the proper version and it looks to me like everything is aligning it's a wider build like i asked for I, you use those extra pieces you add some extra viewing points the building's taller now i love it and yeah i you amplified the little bit of blue on there this is much better awesome so there's an updated build for us very very good awesome job terror the ref thank you for that and now we can actually see your building poking out a little bit higher that is great let's uh find you a builder sign get your name in front of your build i'll try to like angle it such a way where you can see it from the uh pov of the coaster and this is going to be terra the ref done all right now we can go back to being placed in park on your build very good all right next up we're looking for a double build by cool beans mcgee we teased it in a previous build uh episode um i don't know which one it's supposed to be 18 and 22 i think it's this headquarters one what the heck so if i'm looking at this right it's like this one and this one yeah would you look at that that is crazy okay wow oh my goodness gracious all right so we're gonna go back here and use this cube to get it all lined up there's so many cubes in there now you can see them from all the builds using this one particular cube you can see that i didn't line them up perfectly but um there's like at least four or five cubes like packed in there there we go that looks pretty lined to me wowzers wow freaking we love the colors on there using those dexar colors the yellow is very subtle on this one i was saying that the building back here was a little bit crazy on the yellow but now with this building in front of it it kind of breaks up the repetition there adds a little bit more blue back in and i think they tie together quite nicely now that's looking pretty sweet look at all of the depth on this build and i believe the coaster passes through here twice it does look at that wow that is crazy really cool interior on this and then it passes through under here so all your guys's builds are now working together seamlessly and i really quite like that that is intense when the coaster passes through all of these buildings throughout this city oh my god that's gonna be really cool and super satisfying but for i believe it was hollywood that made the coaster it's gonna be super satisfying for hollywood because they basically did all this coaster track and it was just out there all tangled up and floating and you know they had no idea what this would eventually turn into and what that would do to the on-ride experience and to see how that turns out and have the community um, participate in the theming for your ride is quite a fun and exciting little thing that uh built there by cool means cool beans mcgee is looking awesome I really like it. Let's go grab that sign from Terra the Ref. Where can I put you? Because this building's in the background, right? Hmm. I think we're going to have to put it up here on the uh, rooftop or something. Yeah. So that you can actually see it somewhere in the park if you were to like zoom in. And uh, that should hopefully do, do it justice. Yeah. Put it up right front and center. 
cool beans mcgee done okay so that one knocks off uh 18 and 20 so next should be 21 where's 21 it's got to be one there we go this big tall one holy moly and this is created by squid guy and the thumbnail is this one is it tall it's very tall let's go and we're gonna delete the box first and then i can figure out how i'm gonna line this up let's use this cube here um where's the widget oh yeah the widget's really tall in the air there so i think this is the best approach i think that just about does it close enough <laughs> oh look at this crazy thing wow wow you guys have really gone all out with these skyscrapers i like this uh weird tubey thing going it's not fully connected but from a distance i don't think it matters yeah you probably never really notice that from a distance it's uh overall doing the job you could have used those little uh, other tubey bits to connect them together but i don't really think it matters from a distance right it looks the way it should wow this is crazy you got these like sci-fi retro cars out front <laughs> on the landing pad that's so cool and again the coaster passing by all this craziness i love it love it love it love it is there there's another interaction here and the coaster is actually paused in still motion here as it's coming around i like what you do with this garden as well very interesting build here stands out feels a little bit different from everything else but uh really good backdrop skyscraper another tricky one to do the builder side on I'm thinking if the coaster does pass through here, right? Might not be a bad idea just to put the sign here, right? That could that could work. I think that's okay. Otherwise, uh, it's going to be at the top of the skyscraper, and that would be kind of weird. So we're going to do squid guy, and uh, that, that looks good to me. You should, you should hopefully see that from the POV of the coaster now. Oh, man, man that is so cool. All right, some tremendous builds going in here today. All of the mega builds in this here episode next up is taurus gone on 22 i'm assuming that's your neighbor right here indeed it is it has a bit of a a cutout a rivet a divot if you will and uh that's for the coaster to pass through so let's go ahead and find that one which is this bright white sci-fi now this is kind of interesting i brought this up in a previous video that when we were first building and planning the sci-fi area my vision at least the way that i i don't have my blueprint subscribed right now i've cleaned out my library to help make the game run and save a little bit smoother um, but the way that i used to build i did a lot of sci-fi blueprints on my workshop back in the day and i did a lot of the clean white vinyl kind of pieces they're literally called vinyl in the game and it, it very much the build style that i used looked like what we're seeing here from Toroscon. uh very clean i guess uh utopian sci-fi and i like that style and i thought this area of the park would look very much like this but especially on the cosmic cow side but the trims being a little bit pink and stuff so glad to see something like that make it into the park and considering how much noise is down below having that up top there looks quite nice it's a uh, definitely a cool looking build i think Toroscon did something similar over here right yeah you could definitely see their build style from that in here so they like to work with the clean whites and the glass pieces very cool very very cool now i could probably mm, now I'm, I'm gonna put your builder sign if i can find one let's grab one from tara again seems like it's so hard to see these i'm gonna place yours at the top of the build too right in the middle so you can see it from the distance i don't know if you're going to be able to see it coming down the coaster um and i don't know where i would place it in there because it's coming in in a weird angle so um i think i think right there should do toro scon there you go awesome 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 build this is really coming together all right the next one should be 23 and we're looking for abigail let's go abby with yet another build several builds in this uh in this park already forgot to bring in the cube a bit unfortunate but i could just guess where it goes i know it goes here we probably don't want it clipping 
into the mountain. So let's pull it out just a little bit. It looks almost like a uh, concert thing. I'm actually going to go ahead and rotate this one a bit. So it, it tucks into the mountain just a little bit nicer. Yeah, that, that looks good. Maybe even slide it over. Mm -hmm. All right, that, that looks like it would place nicely there. Yeah, I'm quite okay with that. Wow. It's a big giant cannon tower and solar panels. I guess this is charging and powering some of the uh, area here. It's a little bit of like a power plant thing going on. It's pretty cool. I like it. All right, nice build there, Abby. Whoa. The next one is going to be by... Oh, I forgot the builder sign. Let me get one for you. There you go, Abigail. And next up is um, Striker 24. And I think that's this guy. Yeah, let's go. Blueprints. It's this giant rail cannon. Holy moly, that looks awesome. Oh my god, this is pretty exciting. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that is wicked. Oh my goodness. Air force, air, air defense. Oh my god. Anyone invading our theme park is going to get blown out of the sky by this massive rail gun. Holy crap. Crap, that is amazing. Wow. I love it. Absolutely love it. That is sick. Okay, let's get you a builder sign as well. Uh, I'm going to put it up here on the hill. Pop, plop it over there. Striker with a two. I'm not sure how you're supposed to say that, but I'm sure it's striker. Um, very cool. Actually, they don't. E I've done I made this mistake before. They don't even have an R in their name. That's right. So it's not even Striker. How do you say that? If it's S-T-2-K-E-R, it would be Stuker. Stuker. Huh. Stuker. Yeah. Okay. Stuker. That's uh, a hard name for me when I'm uh, partially dis dis <laughs> dyslexic. I can't even say the word. Dyslexic. <laughs> All right, another backdrop city next is going to be one of these. We're looking for 25. There it is. Let's go. Uh, let me make sure I open this up. Did I? I am not subscribed to this one for some reason. Okay, who made this? Dang it, dude. That's a, a name I'm not familiar with. Dang it, dude. In fact, I want to say that dang it, dude, this might be their first build in this entire park. I could be wrong, but... Um, I usually get pretty familiar with names and dang it dude does not seem familiar to me now dang it dude This doesn't seem like it's in the right spot Dang it dang it dude, but we're gonna go with it I'm gonna get it aligned and we're gonna see if I should place it or not it seems to be pretty good Okay, so it goes into the mountain a bit which should probably be fine I feel like it could come out a bit more based off the cube, but Coaster should pass through there's a bit of negative space out here. Yeah, part of me wants to like bring it out a little bit more, but I don't know because I like how it hugs into the mountain and it's built into the mountain over here, but I'm not crazy about this negative space over here. Hmm. I'm thinking like I could just bring it out here, right? And that way it just, yeah, I think that works. And then the coaster does this little bit of a, a twist there, so it's not going to clip or anything there. But I think coming back into the station or where you're leaving, coming as close as possible to this building might be cooler. And it's still touching the mountain there. It's still built into the mountain. And it just gives us a little... It closes things off a little bit more. Maybe at some point, I don't know, up the batch. Um, well, I could try it myself here. I was going to say we could add something here, like one of our characters. Either a Dex R or a Cosmic Cow might be co cool. Let's take a look at the build itself, though, how it fits in there. Okay, so by me sliding it out a little bit, I don't know if that was the best decision. Because now it's a little bit hidden back there. Because it would be more over to the left, naturally, right? I wasn't thinking of the top part. I was thinking more of the bottom part. Let me go ahead and undo that and uh, see how it looks if it's more to the left. So this is its intended location. So in terms of the top of the building, it fits much nicer here, for sure. Because you get, you get to actually see the build poking out. So for the sake of, you know, its actual intended location, I'm going to place it there. Mm-hmm. For sure. And I think the coaster goes 
into the station here. Let's just take a double check here. Oh no, it's coming out this way. It, yeah, passes out this way. So if we were to do a builder sign, you'll probably face it this way. Dang it, dude. And you should be able to see this from the POV of the coaster. That should be good. All right, awesome build there. Dang it, dude. I love the big elevator here. Reminds me of the Shinra building from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> awesome. Awesome exterior elevator. Really cool build. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, another unfamiliar name to me. The next one is from Bradward Bomer. Terra Elizabeth is their workshop name. Hmm. Terra Elizabeth. And, and then the Discord name says here, it's Bradward Bomler. I think I'm saying that right. And that should be the one right there. Okay. Let's get this. Uh, oh, does it not have a cube? Oh, it does have a cube. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, looks like you brought in a, a panel by accident, trying to uh, get someone to crash into a pen panel on the coaster. All right, I think that's aligned. Now... I was just talking about the coaster coming out this way. It's a tight squeeze, but I don't think we're going to hit these. I hope not. There's a bit of a hole here, but you won't see it, right? If we're going this way, you shouldn't see that hole. Although, what's happening here? Is this part of, uh, no, it's not part of this build. Part of this build. We just placed this. But again, shouldn't see it. There's this floating light that's driving me crazy now that I noticed it. <laughs> but we should be able to go ahead and place that there without any issues. I was just thinking, like, maybe I could bring it forward a little bit. Um, but I like how neatly tucked in it is here. I think we could go out just a little bit there. So it's not touching that building. And then just bring it forward a little bit more. And maybe even down a bit. Mm-hmm. That looks good. What's this say? Song? Soon? That seems okay. All right. I'm not placing it exactly where it was supposed to be placed, but... Oh, look at that. There's going to be a high five on there. Now, I almost need to simulate this before I place this. I'm going to unpause it. I'm going to try to pause it when a coaster gets up here. That's going to be tricky to do because I don't know where it is. I'm holding on to the blueprint right now. So, um, oh, I pause it just in time. Oh, my God. Okay, so there's a bit of a problem there with the high five. It is crashing. I can sink this building in more, and I don't think that's very problematic. Let's see the backside. In fact, I think that's better. Like having these pipes go into the ground makes way more sense to me. Mm-hmm. And then the antenna thing shouldn't have any issues. Now, it rotates. So, yeah, I, th I think there's more than enough clearance now. And now there's not this, like, kind of song genetics. And the door is now on the ground. So it definitely didn't fit to your cube, as you can see here. But this seems to be a lot better. They could have just accidentally moved the cube. We've seen other builders do that as well. So there we go. Pretty bright blue on this, but other people have gone with that blue as well. So I think it works. Also using the clean vinyl. Very cool. All right. I like the high five feature there from the uh, interaction with the coaster. So I'm digging it. Now, is there a way? I was thinking I could build the builder sign there, but it'll be upside down. You'll literally not see it. Um, let me see here. If the coaster comes through here. I'm just going to place it back here. I don't know if you'll see it on the coaster or not. It might just, um, you'd have to pause it or something, but uh, there's a chance you might gl get a glimpse of it, but it is at the intended entrance of the ride itself or the uh, the doorway of the building. Um, Brad Word Omler. All right, welcome to the park, Bradward. I don't recognize the name. Couple new um, unfamiliar names here today. Very cool. And that concludes all of our uh, mega builds here today. We're going to take a look at this at nighttime. Let me go ahead and save it. 
Now, I want to save the coaster for the next episode, but I do want to ride the coaster through this new area. So, from my understanding, the coaster goes from this area to this area to the sky plots, and then finally finishes off in the city. So, we could let this coaster run through, and then as it's leaving this area, which it is just right now, we can get on this coaster. Is this the one? This is it. So, I'll do track view. Let's actually ride this through what we just built. Yeah, so this is the exiting of the Skyplots area and into the actual city. Whoa! Very cool. All right. Little Dexar there. Oh my god. Wow! Oh, wow. That is visual eye candy. Oh my freaking god. There's the sign. <laughs> awesome. It worked out. There's the other sign. You have to pause it and look to the left, but it's there for a frame or two. <laughs> wow, that turned out great! It's like, look how well-themed our coaster is, and you would have never thought that all of this visual eye candy, uh, stunning details was planned out the way that it was with the plot system. It just seems like overload of visuals as you're riding through the coaster. And it, it reminds me of times where I built these, uh, or ridden these coasters, where I was like, how did the builder conceptualize all of this craziness? Like, when you get the track in, how do you theme everything around it so you just see all this stuff coming by? And, um, you know, this this is one method of doing that one individual plot here covers this one section of the ride another plot here covers this one section of the ride and so forth and so forth and the way you guys worked with the instructions and the instructions that batch provided you guys with were extremely exquisite uh, to get like a pixel perfect picturesque uh, extremely detailed sci-fi ride experience section that is one section of multiple sections of this one crazy voyage through the galaxy with Dex R. That is awesome. Then we get for the next time we revisit uh, sci-fi, we're gonna just do the sky plots. I think that'll be a very fun, um, fun episode. We already have one here. So this is like a little bit of a teaser, these miniature cities in the sky of what is to come. And there's a whole bunch of them, like seven or eight. So yeah, it'll be it'll be quite nice to get all of those in. And, uh, and then that'll complete the build. And then we'll just go ride the entire coaster start to finish but there might be something that we do for post-production or like finalizing it uh, like I said in the previous video that while batch is polishing I'm gonna be looking for ways to just elevate certain things so um, are we are we doing voice acting for this coaster we're we just gonna find like a really good song what can I do to kind of take this ride over the top just a little bit and try to give that audio experience as well and I'll be doing that for a few things in the park while batches polishing everything then i get it back from him and then we can uh do some presentation videos i don't know if i have to use cheat engine or not when we're riding these coasters we are getting like 15 to 25 frames depending on the angle of the coaster and it's not that bad and when you do cheat engine it just basically what you're doing is you're slowing the game down to like negative 400 percent and then in post-production you're speeding that back up so what happens is uh it's trying to render more frames at a slower rate and then when you multiply that you get a lot more frames at a faster rate and it simulates like a, a 60 plus fps feel problem with that is the uh triggers don't actually match up with when you're doing that because the triggers are going off at negative 400 percent and same with the sound the sound doesn't match up so you have to record the coaster as is then you have to record it super slow and then you have to kind of like tie the two videos together so the audio matches the visuals but it always slides out of sync so i gotta chop it move it chop it move it chop it move it it's a painstaking process but when you have a lot of triggers on a ride it just doesn't work at all so 
um, most of our rides have a lot of triggers. For that reason and that reason alone, I don't think I can use Cheat Engine even if I wanted to. Luckily with the new Mega Computer, we can still get a tolerable frame rate, so I think it'll just be okay. Now, I just have to think about how I want to present this. I think, you know, streaming the park would be fun for the community, but we would have to do it on Twitch, and Twitch sucks. You only get 1080p. It's not the best uh, resolution. It's not the best anything. It's just not great at all. I could stream it on YouTube. That is also an option. We've done 4K streams on YouTube, and they turned out great. So uh, that might be the way to do it. Just have everyone in chat. But for like a final video, um, you know, like nobody wants to sit and watch like a two, three hour stream where we're just talking to people, reading comments and all that. So we might have to do a little bit of everything. And um, I was thinking I would like to get your guys' feedback as per usual. One one of the thoughts that I was thinking is breaking up the presentations into like a series. So it's like, all right, today we're featuring the Cosmic Kingdom. And I, and I try to get these nice shots. We talk about the area. I read some backstory the development, give a little bit of a lore and a history of what went into it, um, talk about the rides, what the rides are, what the area is, like I do with park spotlights, but more condensed to one particular area and one area only. And then that way, uh, we have all the B-roll, we have the presentation for it, we have the backstory, we have a little bit of a... a history of it all then we get to explore the area even though it's kind of small um, we get to walk through the queues go on the ride uh, or the rides in this particular case and then you probably end up with what could be anywhere between a 15 to 30 minute episode that fully features the entirety of the cosmic kingdom and i do that for basically each one of the areas in the park and that way we would have uh basically a park spotlight for each of the different areas areas to try to both maximize how much and like if I were to walk through the whole park and look at every little detail we're looking at a two to three hour park spotlight same with the streams by doing it as a series what I'd be doing is I would take I'd be able to take my time I'd be able to go really slow be, and just really soak it in because um, we're only doing one little area and that way we would end up being able to spend like 30 minutes or more on just one area and then we do it for for all the areas, by the time we're done, you add up all six, seven areas, 30 minutes each. And, you know, that is a three and a half to four hour park spotlight, but splitting up into bite size portions that are much more digestible for the viewers. And I think that would probably be the best bet going forward because I'd like to spend like a good 15, 20 to even 30 minutes just in this area alone and just try to, um, you know, really showcase this area as the cosmic kingdom you got to think about it on a uh, a viewer perspective as well people are like oh i'm clicking on this video to go see the sci-fi park um this gets completely lost when the video is you know welcome to this park so i feel like um breaking it into a series might be the way to go but i'm still undecided so I'd just like to get your guys' thoughts. Is that something you'd like to watch? Because then as we go through, you would get like a, a new park spotlight every week. And then, you know, um, this could be before or after we stream the whole thing and uh, just get everybody talking about their blueprints, what they liked about the project, and just have like a really chill stream. Uh, to conclude the whole series, right? Whereas if I do a presentation, I'm probably not going to talk about all the individual blueprints. But if, if we do a stream, Abby might want to be like, oh, that's my stream and say something about their build in the stream and I can read it off and all that stuff. So I, I have to figure out what I want to do for it. But my thoughts going forward was uh, it would be nice to do a series. Just try to stretch it out as long as possible. We've spent so many episodes developing this park. It'd be kind of a shame to just show all of it in just one one single video right and uh that way i would be able to make multiple videos and and fill out the week and and really make it like a week about project planko so that's what i think i'm gonna do unless you guys have some better suggestions for me down in the comments below but some amazing builds here today which conclude our sci-fi area look how amazing this turned out obviously we still got to do the sky plots we'll do that to finish it off give the uh give the coaster a ride and that will finally conclude a sci-fi so from here on out, uh, I think we're just going to bounce around. We have a few more areas to finish up. Um, Western, fantasy, um, adventure, and that's it. And then back to sci-fi. Very, very cool. All right, there it is, everybody. Amazing work on this stuff to here today. You guys did an awesome job with these skyscrapers. Amazing, amazing builds. Love to see it. And I will catch you all in the next episode of Project Planko. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you then. Bye now.